Hey guys, Dr. Cobra here with the special cast. Um, right off the bat, I just want to say a big shout out to BTNH Fan and the Central YMCA in San Francisco. I am doing this cast for those guys. Uh, BTNH Fan is associated with the YMCA, and he wants me to do these casts to help introduce these new players to, uh, to the game. Uh, so, that's what I'm going to do. And here we do have a two versus two game. Uh, with BTNH fan and his good friend Bomb against uh, down here at the bottom we have Koo Killer I'm gonna go with Koo Killer and over here on the side we have Fruit Maker uh, Fruit Maker is gonna be Purple Zerg uh, while we have Teal Terran as Koo Killer uh, Bomb as Red Protoss and Blue Zerg as BTNH fan and there is going to be uh, just a little bit of lag in this replay. Um, and that's because Blizzard just put out a patch for the game today. And every time they patch something, um, the replays get just a little bit screwy. But let's hope it's not very bad. I don't think it's going to be very bad. Um, so just looking around, doesn't look like we're seeing anything terribly interesting for any of the players yet. Um... Looks like Fruit Maker might be saving up for that 15 hatchery. No, he is going to throw down a, his spawning pool on 14 supply, uh, which is still pretty standard. Uh, talk about this map real quick. Uh, you're at a pretty close spawn position with your teammates, so it's pretty easy to help each other out. And each of you have this close uh, natural expansion right here with all these minerals and gas. So. Compared to some of the other 2 versus 2 maps, uh, it's a little bit easier to get your second base and defend your second base. I mean, once you get two bases in that strong economy, it's just way easier to fill the large, feel the large army. Uh, looks like BTNH went for his gas before he got his spawning pool, which means he's probably going to be going for speedlings just to try to get some map control early on. Uh, a pretty good decision. Uh, Koo Killer doing a good job of coming up here and scouting both bases out. Um, and it looks like Bomb has done the same down here and scouted both bases. Yeah, he did see pretty much everything. Uh, second barracks coming down right away for Koo Killer, so probably going to see some a decent amount of early units out of him. Uh, he hasn't gone for any sort of add-on, so maybe just a lot of Marines. Uh, or it could be waiting for 50 gas to get a reactor on this one. Um, Koo Killer doing a pretty good job right now taking both of these uh, Zelnaga watchtowers in the middle. And that's going to give him vision of any units coming across the middle there. So it's going to be pretty tough right now for Bomb and BTNH fan uh, to do any sort of real surprise attack here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, looks like BTNH fan is getting out quite a few Zerglings with some more on the way. And he does have a Baneling Nest. Um... So probably going to see some early Baneling Speedling play, uh, which is going to be quite interesting. And he is going for this hatchery over here, uh, which is a pretty good decision. Uh, meanwhile, Bomb does have two gateways, and it looks like he was chrono boosting Zealots out of both. No, a Zealot out of this one, a Stalker out of this one. Um, so doing a good job of chrono boosting his Nexus to get out extra workers. And yeah, there's that little bit of video lag I was talking about. Um, so hopefully that's going to smooth out here in a second. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like we have a little bit of an attack coming in by Fruit Maker. A uh, couple Zerglings, but I think BTNH fan is going to be able to hold this off pretty easily. Um, I think Fruit Maker did see those Banelings morphing in, and he's going to pull back because Banelings uh, just decimate Zerglings and other light units like that. And so as a response... Um, Fruit Maker, I'm not sure what he was building right here. Probably his own Banelings Nest. Uh, but since he saw those Banelings, he's going to react by throwing down this Roach Warren. Uh, roaches are much more robust against Banelings. Uh, while Zerglings, maybe four or five, can die in one hit from a Baneling. Uh, the Roaches take multiple Banelings to uh, kill even just one Roach. So a good transition here by Fruit Maker. If we take a look at his partner, Koo Killer. Uh, Koo Killer looks like he's going for a ground army. And he's getting that stim pack upgrade, uh, which sacrifices 10 health, but makes your units shoot much faster and do quite a bit more damage. Uh, he has two barracks with reactors, 
uh, which allow them to produce two, mean, two marines at a time out of each um, barracks. So we're probably going to see a pretty early push here uh, with a lot of marines in that stim pack. Meanwhile, looks like BTNH fan and bomb are going to move out here. Uh, bomb with quite a few stalkers, uh, which will do pretty well with these uh, zerglings. If these zerglings can come in and get a surround on any units, um, then the units won't be able to retreat while bomb's stalkers are able to shoot them. Looks like Fruitmaker going to try to engage. They're going to pull back, losing a stalker or two. He does have quite a few roaches out, and the roaches will do pretty well against this army composition. Looks like BTNH fan trying to get a couple hits off. And he is going to go in and try to surround these roaches. Wow, those banelings did a ton of damage to Fruitmaker zerglings. And looks like Fruitmaker might be in a little bit of trouble. But here comes Ku Killer from behind, picking off the reinforcements. This queen and these roaches are doing quite a good job of helping to hold this off. And it looks like with the reinforcements from Ku Killer, uh, everything is going to go down for BTNH fan and bomb. Uh, so, good reaction time by Ku Killer. Uh, coming over here to help his teammate. And I think really what made the difference right there was Fruitmaker made a change to Roaches, so he was able to kill off those Banelings uh, much better than if he didn't have them. Uh, so now that Ku Killer and Fruitmaker are pretty confident that they killed off their opponent's army, they are going to try a counterattack. And it looks like BTNH fan is prepared for this, getting out quite a few Roaches as we speak, uh, getting a couple Banelings and a couple more Zerglings on the way. Uh, Bomb is a little bit low on units, so he's going to get out a couple Cannons, which are static defense things. To help them survive this attack. Uh, Bomb sees those and pulls back a little bit. Uh, I mean, Fruitmaker does. There's a stim pack by Ku Killer. Uh, going in there, it looks like he's going to try to take out these cannons. He does take out the cannons. A lot of roaches shooting each other. And I'm really not sure who's going to come out ahead on this one. It looks like BTNH fan and Bomb are definitely going to be able to hold this off now. Even able to snipe that one extra roach. Uh, these stalkers are faster than the roaches, so they can catch up here and kill another roach or two. Oh, what is this queen doing out here? This queen is so slow off of creep. I've got to imagine that was just um, a misclick, and that queen needlessly goes down. Uh, and so now if we look back at the base, Fruitmaker only has one queen. He's going to have to rebuild that one. So that's going to slow down his unit production quite a bit. Uh, looks like BTNH fan and bomb. Going to try to push out here again. Um... Note they have had these expansions up for a little while, uh, while only one out of the two players on the bottom has an expansion. So BTNH fan uh, and bomb are going to be taking a pretty sizable uh, income advantage at some point. And if we look here, they're both doing a good job. They have the lead in harvesters. So not only do they have more mineral patches to mine from, but they have more harvesters to mine from them. Uh, so as you can see, they're the two players at the top with the highest income right now. And with that increased income, they're going to be able to fill more units than their opponents can. Uh, looks like they're poking in here for another attack. And this is pretty scary right here. Uh, Bomb doesn't want to get caught out of position. We do have a siege tank on the field, which is going to do quite a bit of damage. Killed all those banelings right there. So those banelings were pretty much useless. Uh, these stalkers from Bomb doing a lot of damage to these roaches, but not enough to take out all the bio forces uh, from Ku Killer. Ku Killer is able to stim up a couple times and chase down some stalkers, uh, but at what cost? As you can you remember, stim pack does take away health from your units, so all of these units are very injured right now. Um, what he really needs, he does have the starport and he is getting the reactor, so probably going to see a couple of medevacs coming out soon, and medevacs are able to heal uh, these injured bio units. Uh, so looks like Ku Killer does now have his own expansion down. And he's getting out some extra barracks just to help his production. Uh, so probably just going to be seeing a lot of uh, infantry units with a couple siege tanks and a couple medevacs. Uh, Fruitmaker has gone up to Lair. Um, so he can get his next tier of technology. But it doesn't look like he's thrown anything down yet. Uh, if we check back at BTNH fans base, he does have a Lair as well. I don't see any, yeah, I don't see any lair tech for him either. 